Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. One of those who uh, may, are you, are you golfing next week, Brian? I am. Very good. Welcome into the show, Brian Gonzalez from Inner Visions Healthcare, Development Director, uh, Gala Planner, and Executor of, of uh, the. Um, what it, I have kind of dubbed it one, one of the premier for me. It's one of the premier events of the year. It, I it's just that. Uh, uh, it's just a great celebration of people who are committed to the, the cause of caring for uh, mothers and, and their babies and in the family as a whole. What, uh, tell me a little bit about what we can expect at this year's event. And, and settle for me. Is it gala or gala? I think it depends on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> How's that for being diplomatic and not wanting to offend anyone? I expect nothing in yeah. from you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think, what do I say? Come to the gala. I think gala, I don't know, it sounds to me, uh, gala seems more... Um, uppity and like I was just going to say a little little bit a little bit above my tax bracket yeah that's true yeah what do I look like Webster dictionary (laughs) well you are a smart man and you do have uh, the ability to speak multiple languages but we're speaking the language of life this morning and uh, what's the uh, like you want to you want to give us a rundown in the event or you want to give us some updates on what's going on just a quick reminder right InterVisions Healthcare is a free clinic here in in uh, in central Iowa that helps women with unplanned pregnancies and so um, in order, one of the ways to fund all of our free programs and services is uh, th- this, this little party that we throw every, every year. Um, it's, it's grown. I mean, I, I started. It's not a little party anymore. I know. I know. Uh, we, we, uh, I started in, so the clinic opened in 11. I, my first gala was in 16 with Abby Johnson. And we had 450 people here just down the street at the uh, Sheridan. Right. And now we're at the Iowa Event Center. and We'll probably have about 1,200 people there. And so it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's grown to, uh, to see the event it is today. And why do you, what would you attribute that growth to? I mean, your hard work, obviously, but, but what would you attribute the, uh, the, the growth of, of this, this event? You know, I, when I talk to, to people, groups about fundraising, I think the, the ripple effect really has mm-hmm. uh, an impact. And so, I mean, sure, the, the clinic works hard and does great work. And obviously we're guided by the Holy Spirit and things like that. But when, when there's something that's so special and it touches so many people's hearts and then you know you have this this ripple effect and and more and more people are interested in getting involved in this and it, it's it's tough cuz i think lo- uh, we we would have other volunteers like mm-hmm. men would want to volunteer but as a clinic uh client fa- patient facing clinic right. you can't have men dudes in the clinic and right. so th- this is an opportunity for for guys in particular to feel a part of the mission um we have uh, lots of opportunities for volunteers so there's a plug for uh, for a colleague brooke who had a birthday yesterday yeah and um and so if, you, if you're interested uh in being an advocate or a nurse or a receptionist reach out to intervisions and we can we can help you out there but yeah so the gala obviously is a chance for everybody to come no matter what you know what uh where you are on the spectrum and and uh uh old young boy girl adult right. all that stuff so yeah it it brings in everybody you know catholic non catholic yeah. uh people from all, uh, all all across the spectrum right but i think you're, you're exactly right it's just that ripple effect and uh and and it dispels the myth that is sometimes thrown at uh you know pro life advocates is that we're just pro birthing and that we don't yeah. care for for the, for the mother and the child uh you know after the fact right and uh, this really dispels that myth that uh, uh, we, we, you guys, the work that you do really uh, t- walks the whole way with, yeah. with the mother, even, even post, uh, post birth and in caring for their needs. Talk about, uh, I know you've had some, uh, some great stories and we're neighbors here. Iowa Catholic radio sits right yeah. next to the clinic. In fact, we occupy their old space in their growth. They outgrew this space. So, uh, you know, a little quick confession is that, uh, uh, you know, I shouldn't always assume, but whenever I see somebody approaching the door, I always say a prayer, uh, you know, I, I say a prayer for, uh, you. And I know the nurses come over and uh, spend time regularly in our chapel to, uh, uh again, uh, pray for, for those clients that uh, you guys are serving. Uh, but talk a little bit about some of the, some of the recent successes you've had. Well, I, w- I would just say thank you for praying for every patient. Cause we had, um, be- before uh, Dr. McKernan expanded, yeah. there was an Allstate insurance agent that was in next door to us right. and you. And, um, and 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 
and Charlie would pray every time yeah. a car would pull up for years, right? Yeah. And then they moved out, and so then we didn't have anybody praying for a patient. But it turns out that you are praying well, for a patient. Well, it's not just me. So. I, know, I know there's others in the yeah. office that do yeah. as well. But well, That's uh, great. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we always have stories. Um, I think it's key to, to just let people know that we're over 2,000 babies saved. I mean, wow. in 11, in 13 years, um, over 2,000 women who have either considered abortion or, or, or undecided coming through our doors, change their minds and show, have, have made a life affirming choice for parenting or adoption. So just to, I mean, if you've never heard of intervisions, you're like, well, what, what impact in the community are you actually making? 2000 lives is, is a decent amount. And, and that number, again, talking about ripple effect, 2000 lives. I mean, that's because somebody who uh, chooses life, Bless, the blessings multiply, and yeah. that there's no way to quantify that, right? Uh, where if the other regrettable d- decision is made, uh, similarly, yeah. you know, lives continue to be devastated. So uh, I'm going off script to show not the story that I had written and prepared, but rather um, we just did a, a patient testimonial video yesterday for the gala. So here's a plug for the gala, and in that story, just like 15 hours ago, mm-hmm. next door when we recorded it. <clears throat> That mom literally said, it's an APR story, so she took the first abortion pill, changed her mind, and chose to take the progesterone uh, hormonal supplementation to try to uh, continue the pregnancy, and the baby was born about a month, six weeks ago. In that interview that we recorded, which you can see at the gala, the full four to five minutes, four to five minutes, she says, <clears throat> after I took the pill, I thought to myself, what did I just do? This person could cure cancer or be a president. Oh, wow. So she literally talks about like the ripple effect of this decision that she yeah. made. <laughs> and is there something I can do to change what I just did? Right. So not meaning to get misty eyed on your drive into no. work this morning, but um, I mean, th- this isn't like what, you know, the pro-life intervisions people are saying, right? This is from the mouth of a, a mom who, um, who made a life, who made a decision to to start an abortion, a mm-hmm. chemical abortion, which, by the way, in Iowa is like 84% of abortions are chemical now. Mm-hmm. So a lot more common than the surgical ones. And then made the decision to change her mind and um, come to us. And, and we helped her with the progesterone and all that. So um, there's, a, there's a life. There's a, there's a baby that's, that was born six weeks ago who now might be the president someday or might cure cancer or might do – Maybe the maybe a great janitor at a high school. You know, you just you just never know what the what this life is going to do and how it's going to impact. And maybe she has children, and those children become who knows? I mean, yeah. we have it, no it, idea. Yeah, we, we uh, God does. But God knows, yeah. and uh, but we also know that uh, what we do know is none of that is possible if abortion is what is uh, what, right. is, what is decided. Yeah. So uh, this is your biggest fundraiser of the year. Yeah. The event coming up uh, is it May thirtieth, right? May thirtieth. So a month from details. yesterday. Yeah, IVH Care org uh, for more information um, we've got lots of sponsors already but we do have room for a few more sponsors if you want to s- squeeze a few more in sponsorship start at twenty five hundred dollars table start at a thousand um, and uh, yeah we're just looking forward to, to visiting with people I don't think we've talked about Claire yet Claire's our speaker yeah, uh, plug her real quick she was the victim of a successful abortion I'm sorry what yeah is, I was gonna is, say, how, that's gonna need some clarity yeah how is that uh, and that's the show and that's the wrap <laughs> um, so so her uh, she yeah. her mom was 13 years old when it, she went to the uh, abortion clinic and they performed a successful abortion and then about a month later uh, her 13 year old mom sort of felt some movement so she goes back to the doctor and realizes oh oops uh, there are, there's a twin you had twins and we only aborted Mark. one so Claire's sister uh, died right whatever 35 years ago or whatever and so Claire survived that um, she was too far along to I don't know if you would say complete the abortion or have a, six, a second abortion, but yeah. um, so she's our speaker and she'll come and tell us about being wanted, chosen, and loved. Uh, which we all are. Amen. Yes, amen to that. So, uh, so, so more information can be found at uh, IVHcare.org. Uh, Org. Org. Thank yeah, you. IVHcare.org. Yep. And uh, yeah, I, I think we want to uh, we want to make sure that everybody who wants to go can go if they want. And I know that uh, you know Iowa Catholic Radio has proud, been a proud uh, sponsor of this event for many yeah. years. Uh, we have a table of uh, ten to fill, 
And I want to give away at least two of our tickets. So you can join the okay. Iowa Catholic Radio team uh, to, to join us here. And did you want to give away a pair of tickets? I'll give well, away two pick yeah. tickets, too. So yeah. if uh, you want to text the word LIFE, L-I-F-E, to 515-223-1150, uh, we'll, we'll put you in a drawing. And you can, you can either uh, take Brian's tickets or you can take the Iowa Catholic there Radio tickets. Uh, but text the word LIFE to 515-223-1150 right now. And join us at the Intervisions Gala, May 30th. Uh, you will not, it's a night you will not regret in any, any shape or fashion. If you've never been before, uh, it, it is a, just a great celebration. As Brian referred to it, it's a, it's a little party that has grown to a, a party of over 1,000 people. Uh, this year, expecting 1,200. If you want to be among the 1,200, text fi- uh, the word LIFE to 515-223-1150. Brian, I, I admire your work. You know, you and I have been on the radio before, uh, and I, I've sung your praises, but I will not stop singing your praises because what you guys do over there is, uh, is just inspiring. You know, it, 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 it pales often to some things I get to do to what you guys, you know, on maybe once a month to what you guys do every single day over there is uh, is great. So thank you so much for your, your yes to this mission. I'm so I'm happy to do it. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.